G'day all, it's an absolutely awesome day over here. I'm just uh, sitting at the um, bottom of the Kawika range, uh, sorry, Kaimanawa ranges. Um, just about to uh, get flown into a block to chase the old seeker deer for a few days. So, um, yeah, the weather's looking okay. Weather forecast isn't that flash for later on, but um, it's good now. That's all that's all that we need to worry about. Because when we're setting up camp, we won't want it to be crappy. If you look out there, you'll see um, that's Lake Topo in the distance. There's uh, three of us going in. There's um, Tomo over there. And Jonathan getting his ready, gear ready. I nearly forgot, there is another member of our trip. That's, um, I'll introduce you to him. Gav. This is Gav, he was going to come on our trip with us, but um, he couldn't make it in the end and had to pull out. So. Um, we're bringing them along in spirit, and uh, yeah, <laughs> hopefully you can see some sights, and the odd deer getting whacked over. So okay, well I'll leave you to it, because the chopper's nearly here, and I have to get some of the um, last minute gear wrapped up, so we'll see you in there.
afternoon all. Well, we're here. We made it. Let's camp. Tomo's tent, my tent, and Jonathan's tent. We've all got our own tents. Because everybody will probably be snoring. So it's a bit windy today, but fucking look at that. Beautiful country. Fucking not a tree to be seen. So yeah, hop down the creek here. I'm gonna cross the creek, go up the other side and traverse that ridge and see what's on the other side. Just for a bit of a reconnaissance. Well guys, made it up to the top of that first ridge. And um, man. This has to be some of the most awesome country I've ever seen. There could be a deer sitting down opposite me and you'd never see it if unless it moved. Have a look at this. spotting time at the moment, it's only just at, uh, about 20 past 1. So I'm just going to move down this um, ridge, have a quick look here, there's some bigger natives down there, big beach. Down there. They could be anywhere in this country, but I'd imagine they're hiding out in the bigger stuff. So I'll go down and watch the edge there for this evening, but I'll stay here for a good hour, I think, and have a watch. Cross your fingers. Well, guys, I've just um, I've got to where I'm going to think I'll watch for the evening. It's on a bit of a basin with lots of bushy edge and tussock and a little bit of to hide in. So I'll just show you where it is. some glass and see if we can pick up a deer. It's still early though, it's only three o'clock so um, I don't expect anything to be out for a while. Well, afternoon all. Bit of success to match Jonathan's. I, um, I was up there Wide on the on that skyline, and um, yeah, but he got up to go for a piss, as you do. And I was actually going to move off. Just funny how things work. And um, I heard this deer started bloody squawking, and um, I thought, shit, seeing me get up to go for a piss. But then I looked, and it was squawking down the hill at something else. And then another deer popped up, and so I realised it was just. Probably telling its young one to um, hurry up. You know, so I've just made my way down. As you can see, she's awesome country, but she's bloody steep in places. And look, there we have it. One dead seeker. Geez, a fly is already on it. Sorry, I didn't mention it was last, last night, and I thought I'd bloody missed. So what I'm doing now is I come down to bloody um, me yeah, see if I got it, and voila. It's been a cold night, so hopefully the meat's all right. Got it just in the front shoulder there. It's a yearling. So yeah, I'll um, drag it up the top of the hill. Let's see if I can get a photo. It's starting to rain now. Don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, drag it up the hill and see if I can get a couple of photos and yeah, start the start the messy bit. Whew. Morning. 
morning all. This is just a clip to show fucking hunting isn't all great in the sunshine and dead deer. The dark is absolutely miserable here today. You can see down the valley, she's clagged in crap. Rain, fog, it works. Just thought we'd have a, having a bit of breakfast in the rain. Got some porridge going. Jonathan's over there in the warm and dry. Tomo's there having his coffee in the wet. And there's the tents. Afternoon. If you're wondering what this is, this is a definition of stupidity. <laughs> but this is what um, being stuck in a tent in the pouring rain for 24 hours does. The weather is still not flash. In fact, as you can see, she's pretty much white out conditions. But the weather's been shit all day, but it's getting less and less shit. So we'll just put our fingers crossed that it um, clears it this evening because the deer, while well, I've been um, sitting under a bush all this rain, they'll be looking for a break in the weather to come out and feed. So we've got a spot we want to go check out and wait and watch this evening. Hopefully it delivers. If not, we'll just get a wet ass. But at least we haven't been stuck in the tent. Alright, hopefully see you soon. Well, we've called play off because of rain. We gave it a fair old nudge. We just had our fingers crossed that the weather would break for the evening and some deer would come out and have a feed all night. But it's just got worse and worse and worse. So, um, head back to camp, have some tea and hit the sack. And then there's only um, one more chance for a hunt and that's in the morning before the chopper picks us up, if it can get in here with all this clag. So yeah, fingers crossed for tomorrow. Well, good morning. This should be the last bit of footage you'll see uh, for this trip. Sorry, again there was no footage of live deer. I saw a deer this morning, but by the time I got the camera out, she had disappeared. And the two I shot at and got one the first night, that was on last light, and I didn't have much time to get the camera out. And then Jonathan's ones the next day, I was just away from him when he saw them, and he, um, he shot them before I could get the camera set up. But he's got a bit of footage, so hopefully I'll try and get that off him and um, add that to the clip. Yeah, thanks for watching. If anything, you've got to see some scenery of some country that you wouldn't have seen before. This is over that there, that over there, all that line. That's what's called the Thunderbolt Tops. We're sort of on, and this is, um... <laughs> You're not going to bloody believe that. The reason I'm here, why I came down here, is because I thought I might have nicked one of the ones I, when I first shot at the two. I'm sure I hit on the first one, but it's not where I found the dead deer. So I've just been down here in this gut, because this is where the deer was standing, looking for it. And um, 
I've been here talking to you and a deer has run out from just there and I've just um, made a sound and it stopped on that ridge line just there and I've whopped it well it sounded like it so we'll go and have a look oh the bitch has fallen in a mongrel spot by the looks oh, I'll leave the gun and stuff up here in my pack Hopefully she hasn't fallen too far down. Second thoughts, never leave the gun behind. She's down in that gnarly country. Well, bloody hell. Look at that. Side's almost vertical. Found it, she's down there. It's a red hind. I've got to go up there with a load on. Right, it's gonna be a mission. I might just go down there with the camera and the knife and cut up what I can to here maybe we'll see how it goes <sighs> oh, if I can put everything in my pack down there it would be better Goodness, she didn't fall any further. Oh, <sighs> sorry, guys. There's going to be no trophy shots here with this one. Bloody hell! It's going to be hard enough keeping all my gear on the bloody. I'm falling down into the mountain, into the river. Well. It's been a good trip here with the lads. It looks like our taxi's here. Oh, oh, wait, come back. Don't forget us. You got where you dropped us. Oh. <laughs> you might have. Where's the boys? Tom Oak, let's see. Oh. Did you see that red hind this morning? No, you didn't. Tomo's been moral support. There's Jonathan, can't see him in the camo in the background. He's got his first couple of seekers, that's good. And I bowled over a little seeker on the first day and a red hind today on the last day. So I've got a bit of meat and a sore ankle to show for it. All right. You can hear the chopper working, maybe he's coming back. Maybe he was getting lost. <laughs> yeah, he is coming back. 